everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. How are you doing? You alright? As you can see, it's trying to snow. It's trying to snow. It's quite cold this morning. Uh, it was uh, minus one degree when I left the house. Um, and it's a Friday today as well. So today is the last day of the working week. Uh, we are currently waiting to get loaded with a load of bolt bags. I don't know what exactly, but it'll be some of them probably. And we are going to Potter's Bar. Now, I don't know exactly where in Potter's Bar we are going, uh, but we're going to Potter's Bar. <laughs> um, as I said, today's Friday, um, which is the last day of the working week. Hopefully it's going to be an easy day as well, because uh, I'm not actually supposed to be here until two or three hours later on today, because I was supposed to be in Bridgewater first thing this morning, 6am, offloading a load of pallets and then coming here. But luckily I managed to get the pallets offloaded last night. So I'm a little bit ahead of schedule, which means one of two things. Either A, it gives me an easier day today, or B, the boss will find some more work. <laughs> um, but yeah, all, all I uh, know that I'm doing at the moment is I'm delivering bolt bags to Potter's Bar. I'm then taking this trailer and off hiring it, because it's a hire trailer. So we're taking it back to its location, uh, which is somewhere like near Milton Keynes, I think. And then um, I don't know what we're doing from there. No idea. Anyway, he's opened up the the, uh, the old door now look, over there, so we're going to go and uh, get loaded. See you in a bit. Right, we're loaded and we're in the truck. And uh, I get asked this sometimes. Um, how do I plan my route? So I'm going to explain. So I've just been given my paperwork, my delivery note, it's a bit dirty because I have my gloves on. We're going to Potter's Bar, uh, Neighbour Bros Limited. So first thing I do, I'll, um, I'll get my phone out and I'll try and show you as much as I can on my phone as well. So the first thing I do is obviously get the, uh, the sat nav on and I put the postcode in. Postcode in this case is EN6. 5QS the Ridgeway which is good because it does say the Ridgeway there look so that's where we're going but uh, what I do is I also use Google Maps so if I just uh, get my phone up so we, we search EN6 5QS and we have a look on here so there's Neighbours Brothers, look. Right, so then what we do is we go back to the sat-nav. We look at the route and we pin roughly where it is. So there's a, <laughs> there's a weight limit um, thing here. So it's not gonna want to take me down here. So what I'm gonna have to do, because it will just take me via a massive detour, is just say that's where I wanna go there. And then when I get closer to it, I then use my phone, more than likely, to, uh, to direct me in to the actual place. So here it was the weight limit. So we know that we can go left down here, or we have to anyway, because that's where we want to go, but we can double check by checking out Street View. Street View is a godsend, I always use it. You will arrive at 
So yeah, there is a weight limit there, seven and a half ton weight limit. So the sat nav was not lying, but obviously it does say except for access. Um, I think it did. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It says there, look, except for access, right in the middle. So we can go down there to get to our destination, which is the neighbor brothers. We know that that's going to be the entrance, and we just drive on up there. We can see some bolt bags here, look. So it's probably going to be a case of stopping literally on that square there, probably. Um, as for turning around, I don't know. We're probably going to have to drive forward and reverse into one of these spaces, I suspect. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. But then the final thing I do is I just double check the street view from where we're going so I can get an, an estimate of what it looks like. So there's a big Nabar Bro sign there, look. Down this road, Nabar Bros. Looks like we can just drive straight in and then park up on the right hand side. Look, you can see some pallets over there as well. So, and, and this is what I always do. I always, always plan my route. Um, I get a lot of stick from Andy. Andy, if you're watching, uh, because he thinks I overplan, but I think it's it's the way it should be done. You should know where you're going. Um, uh, and obviously, if it isn't quite correct, then you know you adapt and overcome. But I think it's better to be prepared than not. To to be prepared at all um, so yeah here we go then so this this is the uh, the route we're going to be taking so we're going to go down the M4 we're going to go over uh, all the way to the M25 look we're going to go right around sat now just slightly frozen there we go that is going to be uh, South Mims services there we go so we're going to go past South Mims uh, the next junction we're going to come off we're going to go over the roundabout we're going to come off and go one second exit and then we're going to go down the ridgeway and then it's just before the bend on the right hand side on the ridgeway so we know roughly where it's going to be happy days so we're good to go route is planned we put the paperwork over here nice and safe uh also boss if you are watching or andy if you are watching um dave has given me some stickers to go on the trailers so they will be in my truck with my paperwork he opened it by accident <laughs> uh, and he's given it to me to uh to give it to you so then you don't have to see you <laughs> right we're good to go we are going to turn off the heating in here because i've had the heating on and it's getting quite hot in here now uh we're just going to prepare my phone so it's hands free Turn off do not disturb so I can get phone calls. That's it, good to go. Lights off. Right, I will see you when we're a little bit closer to Potter's Bar. See you in a bit. Two hours later, the time is now quarter to ten in the morning, and we are just around the corner from where we need to be. A lot of salt out on the roads this morning. Obviously, they've been laying grit all night, so <laughs> getting uh, getting through a lot of uh, screen wash. <laughs> um, so yeah, we need to top that up when we get back to the yard later. Right, so we want to there right at this roundabout. We want to take the third exit, I believe. Uh, Enfield, the 1005. Stay green, thank you very much. Yes, we want the B1005 and we're going to. What was it called? Something Bros, isn't it? Something Bros. Not 
not bang bros, before anyone says. Right. <laughs> Indicate left. Bam, bam, bam. So this is where my sat-nav stops, because this is where I pinned it. Because there's a weight limit, it says except for access, which we do of course need. And then just before, well pretty much where those cars are over there, is where we are going. I won't indicate just yet. Yeah, now we will. Just before those cars it was. Can I do my window now so I can concentrate more? Which is the entrance. Okay, this is the entrance. It's on a bit of a blind bend here, so I hope no cars come around too fast. And we're in. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're spinning around yet, mind you, but never mind. We'll, uh, we're just going to plonk ourselves here and go find someone. There's a, there's a couple of lorries around there. That's a good start. Right, we're just going to plonk ourselves here, go and find someone and double check where we need to be, but I, I think actually we're going to have to go around there. Thing. See you in a bit. Okay, we are done. We've got a somewhat difficult reverse manoeuvre to do now. Because there isn't a lot of space. Gonna kind of jackknife it reverse in style. So we, we don't have a lot of space here. Nice and grip, very icy out. There is someone there, but I can't quite see what he's doing. But one more shunt, we'll be able to get out. There we go. So it's very tight this yard. There we go. Right, now before we fully go out of this yard, I just want to put in my postcode destination to where I'm going. I also want to just clean that window over there a little bit because the snow on the way here has made it slightly dirty. So be right back. Right, windows are clean. Destination is in the sat nav. It's just calculating a route. 34 miles away. I just want to know how I get out of here. Do I go left or right? Okay, go left out of here. It's basically the way we came in. I am going to take my seatbelt off a second because this is going to be interesting getting out of here because we've got a blind corner behind us. There we 
hopefully no one crashes into us. We've got to kind of go out diagonally. We're good. Yeah, that was somewhat of a uh, difficult manoeuvre, so I had to take the seatbelt off of that. Right, let's go. Right, the plan now is we need to go and off hire this trailer. So we've got to take this to Leighton Buzzard. It's about 45 minutes away, go on to the sat nav. Should be there for about half past 11. Off hire the trailer. Uh, we'll probably get a break in as well while we're up there. And then we need to communicate with one of our colleagues called Craig. Now Craig is a new employee. Um, he also watches my channel, so I know he'd be watching this. <laughs> and I know his mum watches as well. Uh, and I've got to go pick him up from Daff later. Uh, so I'm going to not tell him I'm recording and just see what happens. <laughs> um, the only issue is, I haven't actually confirmed this yet, but I think I'm going to be a few hours ahead of him. I think, I think I'm going to be waiting for him for a, a, a few hours. Like, two, three hours. But we'll find out when we're actually on our way back. When I have an ETA to DAF, I'll find out what his ETA to DAF is. And we'll go from there. But I plan on just having the camera set up here. Pointed that way so you can see us both and just see if he notices. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do. Right, let's go and get this trailer off hired. And, uh, and then we can start making our way back down south. See you in a bit. Shut up. Right, we're just turning up now. We want BS trailers. Looks like it's there. On, uh, on Street View, because obviously I always have a look at Street View. Looked like there was a gate and the gate might be closed. Put my hazards on because there's a car behind me. I just want to see if the gate's closed or not. Yeah, the gate's closed. So, like, I can't get in until I've buzzed them. So I need to go and uh, buzz them first. And then I need to swing out to go and uh, get on in. Right, bear with. Right. He said, drive in, stay in the truck, in the cab, and uh, someone will... Uh, come out to me. I've got a truck right behind me now as well. Ah, right, we're done. Windows up. Let's take that off. Gonna need some hand sanitizer a sec. Ah, we're done, we're done, we're done. South level. Thank you. Wheels are up. Let's go. So yeah, it's very tight. <laughs> the, trailer, the trailer space we just got it into is very tight. Uh, tight enough that I had to lower the legs before I even went all the way in, just so I could get the landing leg down. Right, so he said approach on the left and the gate will open, is what he said. Yeah, gate's opening. Happy days, right, yeah, so now. Yeah, that looks like a good way to go. Now we've got to go and pick Craig up. We will need a break on the way. We've done three hours driving. Started at um, seven o'clock this morning, so we can work until one o'clock. It's 12 o'clock now. So we've either got an hour's working time or an hour and a half driving time. But we've got to, we've got to have a break by one o'clock anyway, so. We're gonna drive for about an hour and uh, find somewhere to park. 
clearly. Yeah. Happy days. Yes. Um. So we're gonna we're gonna drive for the next hour and find somewhere to park. Uh, we're gonna speak to Craig. Hey Siri. Call Craig. Which one? Craig Ashford or Craig G10? Craig G10. Calling Craig G10. Thank you. And Craig Ashford, if you're watching, he's my best mate. Let's see what he says. Let's see if he answers actually. Craig G10. Hello? How you doing? Not bad, how are you? I'm alright. Where the devil are you? I'm coming down the M4. How, what, what time are you going to get to Daff for? I don't know, I've got to drop the trailer off first. Where are you dropping off? In the yard. Oh right, so, where, so you've got to go to the, the yard now and then straight to Daff? Yeah. So where on the M4 are you? Uh, I just joined this with uh, Chippenham. Oh right, okay, you, you'll be like an hour then, tops. Cool, all right, I've got to pick you up. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, so I'm uh, near Milton Keynes. I'm probably going to be a good two and a half hours because I need to have a break on the way down. Right. So you're, you're going to have to wait for me for about an hour and a half. Oh, you're coming into Daff, are you? Yeah, I've got to go to Daff and pick you up. Oh, you got to Daff? Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, I just dropped my trailer off at BS Trailers, so I'm now solo, so I'm making my way down now. But um, yeah. I've got to get a break on the way down half an hour yeah. and then I'll uh, I'll come straight to you and get you so we're probably looking at about half past two before I get there. Alright, that's fine. Alright. You're picking me up in the beast in the truck. In, in in the truck I'm picking you up, yeah. Cool. So I don't have for a truck then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I'll, I'll see you in a bit then mate. Alright mate, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. Alright, bye bye bye. Yeah, so I don't know if you heard much of that. For some reason it's not going through my system. Um he's gonna be there in the next hour, tops. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually going to be waiting for us, so that's good. Good for me, I mean, because as soon as I go and get him, we'll be going straight back to the yard. No waiting around for me. <laughs> right, let's make our way back. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are. We're going to go Dorgan. This is where we take our trucks. Oh, actually, it's not all of them, some of them. Take our trucks to be serviced at MOT North at Malarkey. Royal Mail is a very good place for people to just pull out of. He had enough time to go, to be fair, but he, he didn't actually pull out. Cheers, mate. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go pick up Craig now. He, um, for whatever reason, he hasn't been here for ages. Where are you going? Because um, he had to take the trailer back to the yard and get some ad blue and stuff. So um, he was at the yard for a little bit before coming here. So he actually, he hasn't been here for over an hour. He's only been here for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I think. Um, not too long anyway. Uh, maybe half an hour tops. So he hadn't had to wait too long, which is good. And uh, I just phoned him up to say I'm around the corner and he's just getting his paperwork together. I have told him that I'm recording today, um, but I haven't told him I'm actually recording him. <laughs> So, let's see his reaction, see what he does. Be interesting. Right, here's Daff. There he is, I see him. Better unlock my door, don't I? There he is. There he is. So I've, I've already told him to put his face mask on, so his face mask's on, I'm going to put mine on as well. I didn't realise one thing though. What's that? I didn't lock my cab. You didn't lock your cab? There's your stuff. Do you want some frozen vegan burger? No, <laughs> no I'm good. <laughs> They're a bit froze. And you get. Why are you sprayed in this cab? It smells like a whore's house. It's <laughs> my natural smell. Oh, that's your natural odour, is it? <laughs> Watson's there, look. You good to go, yeah? Yeah. I don't think I haven't got to get the weekend, have I? Where's the Watson truck going? Somewhere you're not. 
I want, I want to spin round in one go. I don't want to put it in reverse. Oh, you want to do a spinny? Mm. What are you, Scott? <laughs> um, I am recording right now. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, I've been talking about you, saying I'm coming to pick you up. Oh, fantastic. I feel privileged. And I, I said to you earlier that I'm recording, but I never actually said I was filming you. Oh, it's okay. So this is your introduction. YouTube life to my uh, to my YouTube channel, and your mum's going to see this. Yeah, your mum's going to see it too. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was your mum's name again? Chris. 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 Mm. It's an interesting name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. So you, you've had a good day then? Yeah, not too bad. Pretty easy day. Back to the yard. Come on, James. Home. James. Yeah, come on, home, James. Why, James? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got hand sanitizer there if you want. Oh, I could do with some of that. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, I could do with some of that. Yeah. We're being as safe as we are. Can, yeah. Aren't we? We've got to be as safe as we can. Yeah. During this pandemic and all that. This crazy bug. That's it. Right, anyway. That's the end of the day. End of the video. So, do you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. You've seen, you've heard that we say that loads of times, haven't you? I have, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> Die safe, stay safe, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>